Hello and welcome back to another episode how to get your game ID to Steam. So my name is Anders and the last video we went through the game ID. Uh, this one. So I cleared things uh, some from the last video. Uh, yeah, just made it a bit more structured. I also added a performance goal uh, so I can have some some goals to to aim for uh, for the different resolutions uh, measuring in the milliseconds per frame because that's the unit that unity is using for measuring performance uh, today we will make a GDD uh, game design document based on this so let's get to it So, back in Trello, where we have the game ID in progress, uh, for me I feel kind of uh, done with the game ID. I have a clear image of what I want to achieve with the game. So let's build that to complete. Nice! GDD in progress. So let's get back to Milanote. I did some cheating. Uh, I created a, a roadmap for the, for the whole game process. So let's jump into the GDD. So instead of me just copy paste a bunch of images and so on, just go. I will go through the different uh, parts that I added uh, to my GDD. Uh, to start off, we have the the concept, of course, the concept of the game. So it's a silly race based game about skiing with friends and family. Um, I just outlined the 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 look and feel from my game ID. Uh, I added the mechanics, some basic that it's uh, in itself will support for, for PC. Uh, one to eight players, physics based, IK animations for the skeletons for the players, and procedurally generated slopes. That's the main uh, main mechanics. Uh, if we would jump into the game mood board. Uh, here you can find some AI generated art uh, that I just, yeah, I used Mid Journey to, to generate. Uh, some basic colors that I will aim for uh, sky, snow, and obstacles and uh, fences, trees, and whatnot. In the menu, we have a chaotic place where the user can uh, define the race, uh, change outfits and fool around before the race starts. Uh, I will aim for something like a lift station uh, with a bunch of uh, ski racks, maybe. Here's some chaos, got inspired by it. Uh, not sure if I will use the the stool lift or the the large carbine. Carbine? I don't know if it's called that. Uh, the menu definition uh, contains some more specific um, like general support, uh, race settings, video audio settings, player customization, so on. Uh, regarding player customization, I will go to the character map later on. Uh, there will be some kind of scoreboard to keep track of all the player scores. Uh, regarding level design, I think that was it. Yeah, uh, level design. Uh, well, you try to use some high contrast because ski and ski and sky is kind of blue, white, grayish. I will use uh, bright colors to to make it easier for the user to to see without actually focus on like trees and so on and uh, fences. Yeah, the world building it will be procedurally generated based on length, style, obstacles, and so on. Not so much to see there. Um, level design, some inspiration images, fun parks, big big air, off pistes, uh, yeah, off pistes in general. Uh, start by some kind of starting position for the players getting ready for the start of the race. There will be obstacles, some challenges, maybe longest jump, best time, amount of fallen times. Well, that should be low, of course, uh, and of course, getting first about uh, over the finish line. Yeah, 
going up the lift, interactive, maybe fighting, falling down. Yeah, should be fun. As the main thing about this game, it should be fun. Fun, fun and silly. Character design. I've come up with some uh, some designs or concept. Uh, this is also this is generated by Midjourney AI, uh, but I like the style, kind of uh, tunish, stylish. Um, <clears throat> some customization regarding the players. They can have some maybe animal, dinosaur costume, uh, holiday, Santa, Easter chicken, maybe. Uh, of course, the common skier, snowboard. And I had added some uh, some movie inspiration without trying to cross any copyright uh, legal things. I will try to. I will be inspired by those. Uh, will not implement them as they are. Maybe you will see that that it's uh, Rocky or Superman or Darth Vader, but it will probably be slightly different from the originals. Uh, and of course the winning podium, uh, winning screen, uh, the winner in the middle, one and three, of course, one and three, one, two, three, of course, uh, and the other players can maybe pull, uh, run around, uh, do some things. Yeah, uh, let's see about that. Uh, that is basically my whole GDD. Uh, me personally, I don't think we we need any any more in depth uh, since this game is for me personally uh, I will not sell it to someone else I will not try to include any publishers so I will not do any more about this but there's plenty of information regarding GDD if you like to dig, dig deeper into that rabbit hole so I wish you all good luck and in next video we will try to define all the all the details that the game should contain in Trello probably so we can have a better drag and drop functionality when we're starting developing the game. That's all for now. Thank you for listening and see you next time.